guys! So I'm here and I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite things on the entire planet. And also, probably one of the best things on the planet too. Sonic the Hedgehog! You can see it by my shirt. So I've been like overly joyed with this whole Sonic the Hedgehog thing because I've been buying a whole bunch of his comic books. I am like completely and utterly ridiculously stocked with comic books. Look at this. I've got this huge stack of comic books, not to mention this one right here. Two full little bags or whatever of comic books, and I also have a whole bunch more in my drawer. Um, you'd probably assume that I would, I'm a collector of them, and you'd be correct. I collect these things like crazy. I try to purchase as many of them as I possibly can. Um, I do have over 50 comic books. I'm not quite sure the exact number, but I'm pretty sure I'm closing in on 70 I am thoroughly and overjoyed with the most recent, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog and Mega Man Worlds Collide comic book series, like I've mentioned before in the past, a few months ago, in my regular Jay Swagger videos. Pretty much, he has just recently hit 250 issues of Sonic the Hedgehog comic book. <laughs> Yeah, so he's hit 250 comic books. That's a pretty long running series, some sort of Guinness World Record too, apparently on some video game magazine thing. I'd have to look in here to read it to you. This thing is in mint condition, uh, or my mint condition as I like to say. I like to keep these safe and sound and out of the weather so that way they're not... I also like to play Sonic the Hedgehog on my Xbox. This game, Sonic Generations, is probably one of the most awesome games on the planet. They've remastered tons of different levels from Sonic Heroes, Sonic the Hedgehog 06, Sega Gen Genesis, which, by the way, a little portable game of Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and 1 for my Sega Genesis console. Yes, I do have the original Sega Genesis console. It is totally and totally and utterly worth it. I like it. It's It still works perfectly. Um, although I do have to blow dust out of it sometimes just to get it to work, but other than that, it works fine. The graphics still work awesomely. I also have Sonic the Hedgehog 3 um, and Sonic and Knuckles also for the Sega. Sonic and Knuckles for the Sega but I also have Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic the Hedgehog 3 for my Xbox. It is an arcade game and totally awesome. I'm pretty sure it cost me mm, 1600 Microsoft points to get that. And one of my favorite levels in Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Sonic Generations right here was probably Crisis City and the new revamped Chemical Plant Zone modern version. And also the Time Eater was a really interesting boss. I also loved how they redid the bosses and did remixes of a lot of the music. That was totally an awesome... <laughs> I'm getting too excited. <laughs> Anyway, enough of the emotional crap. It's just super duper awesome. And I got this cool t-shirt and this I got for my birthday last year. And uh, from a friend, it's called Old School. Uh, yep, right there it says Old School. Totally awesome t-shirt. I also have another one with um, Sonic the Hedgehog's mugshot. Uh, it's just his head on a blue t-shirt that's just like this. It's awesome. I also have a whole bunch of Sonic the Hedgehog music, Sonic the Hedgehog soundtracks. I am like overly decked with Sonic the Hedgehog and over here, right there, Sonic the Hedgehog laminated poster and wall scrolling poster right there. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. It is probably my go-to game. Uh, it's been my go-to game for years now since I was probably five and that would make it mm, a long-running 12 years of my favorite game series. Just love it. I highly suggest you guys checking it out. Not to mention, I have named numerous things uh, after my Sonic the Hedgehog thing. I can't quite remember what they are although. Also conspiracy about Amy liking Sonic the Hedgehog, which that's not a conspiracy. It is the truth. She is like head over heels in love with him, although I think Sonic Sonic likes Sally Acorn uh, a lot better than Amy. Some spoilers concerning the Sonic the Hedgehog comic book series. If you have not read this, I suggest you stopping the video now and skipping forward a few minutes uh, or seconds or just skip about 30 seconds. Just, just give yourself some extra time. But spoiler alert, big spoiler alert, um, having the deal with Sally being roboticized, I am going to assume that maybe Sonic might fall for Amy possibly. But that is if he can get Sally de-roboticized which I am currently not sure about how it's going to work with the fact of the Worlds Collide series, leaving another cliffhanger of Sally having yet not been rescued. Yeah, it's, it's a travesty. I know, I know, it's just... Get you right in the feels, man. And females and males and uh, 
things, I could say. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. I'm pretty sure this video is going on for a long time. But yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, I will be seeing you guys again very, very soon for another awesome video. Click the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to share this video with all the peoples in the planet on the world wide web. Share on Facebook or Twitter or whatever else you have on this. Um, I will probably try to get maybe, um, I don't know. Also, uh, stuff. I'm like bouncing off the walls because I did have some coke. Uh, I like coke. That's like a big drink. I bought a 24 ounce case or 24 count case. The other day. I'm getting off topic. Uh, but anyways, alright guys, I'll see you guys for another video extremely very, very, very soon.